G'day everybody, it's me again. Time has come to remove the uh, the uh, PTO from this uh, Mitsubishi crane truck because uh, I think you might have seen the video before, it's a bit dodgy. Oh, how come every time I start making a video I've got aircraft going overhead? Or bloody birds making noises. Anyway, that's the PTO there. The pump, well that's being replaced with the big new one. Pull that PTO off there and uh, drain the oil out the gearbox etc and uh, yeah so I'll uh, do that and then I'll show you what's wrong with the PTO and maybe how I intend to fix it well the gearbox oil is looking real shitty it shouldn't actually be coming out there because the seals have failed inside the uh, PTO unit um, I think it's entirely possible from the color of this oil which has only been in there about a week maybe two since I last inspected this um, I do believe that this hydraulic fluid being pushed from the hydraulic side in the pump going through the seal in the pump through the seal in the PTO unit and up into the gearbox that's why my gearbox oil is looking rather funny because it's being mixed with uh, hydraulic oil and then it's all being churned up quite nicely inside the gearbox and mixed it's uh, really not the nicest looking oil so uh, I'll let that drain for a bit and then I'll uh, pull that pump out or maybe that pump will just uh, want to fall out, yep. But that not, that's not good, this is a 13 speed Ranger and uh, if you have a bearing fail or something it's like rebuild time and uh, I don't know if I want to be real bit rebuilding $10,000 gearboxes so uh, yeah well I'll definitely resolve all these issues with this pump uh, well replacing the pump like I said I've got the new pump I just need to fix the bearings in this PTO because it leaks like a sieve and uh, well hopefully I can fix the bearings otherwise I'll have to replace it it's about an $800 item I'd much rather spend a couple hundred bucks on a couple of bearings but uh, if need be I'll have to buy a new PTO um, next step now is uh, let that drain and then undo the uh, six retaining bolts for the PTO remove the airline for the air shifter and uh, yeah we'll see how we go and uh, hmm that's really really not a good sign oh, I don't like that at all I should have known something was up last time when I saw this oil was like this anyway more shortly all right well there's PTO unit removed and a bucket of degrees off and give it a bit of a clean the old man's mucking around bloody exercise machines Give it a good scratch up, well not a good scratch, but a good, good scrub. Mm, there it is. Might even have to end up replacing the whole thing. Might have some more issues than just the uh, bearings. Okay, so I got the unit out, gave it a bit of a clean. Um, the shaft is easy enough to get to, just have to remove that rear cover, a couple of bolts, rattle them out with a little rattle gun. Now I've got to uh, use this puller, pull that bearing off, then I'll be able to knock a circlip out inside. Uh, we'll not knock it out, we'll take it out and then I'll be able to push the entire shaft out that way through that, out that side I hope and uh, that, that uh, hopefully that bearing will come with it, everything will come with it and uh, we'll be all good hopefully I'll just be able to replace the bearings but this gear is looking a bit sad from usage that's the one that actually meshes the air piston there, operates a lever makes that mesh internally in the gearbox um, the other thing I found was there was uh, oil in the uh, air but I realised that would have come from the compressor of the engine side so it shouldn't be such an issue but uh, I'm going to try to pop this shaft out get these bearings off and uh, yeah sometimes I actually have a little bit of luck using the puller and the little rattle gun it didn't turn so much I usually use two hands Almost. You have to use two hands, but you have to hold on to the puller while you're pulling it, otherwise it just uh, jumps around like that. It's almost off. Anyway, we'll uh, leave it at that for this video. Once we start repairing it, we'll uh, see how it goes back together. And uh, hopefully I can just replace these bearings. They're really well, really worn out. Hopefully I can just replace them bearings and it'll go back together and we won't have any trouble anymore. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Well, I thought I wasn't going to do any more, but there you go. There's the end result shaft is out um, 
all I did have to do was just pop that uh, uh, circle off like I thought. And uh, that gear is on this side of the shaft, butted up against the bearing there, held in place by so clip on one of them roots. That's the non-driven end, that stand, which has the just the seal on it. So it's a very, very simple piece of machinery. Just going to replace the bearings, put it back together. So we should be good. Thanks for watching.